Hey guys, how's it going? It's Rob Sutton. We're back here with another video today. As some of you may know, I used to do all my YouTube videos up in my main office on the main floor. Since then, we have decided to move my office down here to the basement and go ahead and finish off the rest of it. As you know, I love tech stuff, so there's a lot of tech built into this basement, as you could probably see some of it behind me. So I wanted to kind of give you a tour, take a walk around, and let you know what we did. Now, I will put the links to everything that you can find down here in the description below. And I would like to know if you want to see any reviews on anything that we put down here. So please let me know in the comment section as well. So let's get at it. So what you see behind me is actually my YouTube space, which actually has felt right padding on the rear wall, an Amazon electric desk, and a Home Depot countertop to act as a working space. Then I have all my newer lights all over the room that act as the studio for my YouTube setup. And it's really exciting because I finally have a YouTube setup that I can leave up all the time and I don't have to break back down because it was on the main level. So on the other side of this room, we'll take a look at my office space. It features a computer with a 5900X and 37 NVIDIA graphics card, my LG C1 48 inch 120 hertz display, an Alexa Show 5 that I can use to actually talk to my wife upstairs with her Show 5 up there, a Logitech G703 and G915 keyboard and mouse, and an Anchor Power Conference C300 and S500 video conference setup. All of this is on the uplift desk that I have reviewed here in the past and my E-Win chair. And to round everything off of this room, I've got the dreamy robot vacuum cleaner that will actually vacuum and mop this entire downstairs. Now, I really like this room because it is the one with the outside exit, which means I get a lot of good natural light coming through here that is great for videos and also while I'm working during the day so I can see outside. Now, before we get into the two main rooms, let's go take a look at the workout room. All right, and then here we are in the room that everyone loves to hate. It's the workout room with some storage here in the background that you can't see. What you see over here is actually a tonal. It goes up to 200 pounds worth of resistance and it has a bunch of online courses and other things that really make working out a whole lot easier. All you have to do is come downstairs, pick a single workout or pick out an entire series and get to work. It also shows you how to do all the exercises and tells you if you're doing them correctly or not. So it takes a lot of the thinking work out of working out and makes it so that we don't have to drive anywhere and you don't have to pay a trainer. So that actually ended up being a really good purchase for this room. And then to the other side, you will see my gravel bike and a 55 inch TV. I actually use that for Zwift. It is on a Wahoo Smart Trainer that will actually increase and decrease resistances on the bike depending on how you're riding on group rides or on single rides within the app. So I can project that up to the screen. For you guys that don't know what Zwift is, it's basically a huge community of virtual riders that make it so that I can ride when it's 100 degrees outside or raining out there when I wouldn't be able to otherwise. So that was another really nice addition that made this room really special. We really tried to make this room as concise as possible with this really smart equipment that would make it so one, we would wanna use it, and two, it would be efficient for the room. So now that we've gotten done with this section, let's go into my two favorite rooms of the basement where most of our electronics are. So here we are in the pool table, wine, and bar area. We didn't want to build some gigantic bar that we weren't gonna use all that often, so the one with three seats worked out perfectly over there and allowed us to do this wall of wine over here on the side and the pool table behind us. One of the smarter features that we put in the kitchen itself is my wife really wanted to put nice bottles of wine in that she just wanted one glass at a time every now and then. The problem is that when you open up really nice bottles of wine, you basically have to drink the entire thing or it's going to go bad. So we bought a plum for the bar area. And what that actually does is electronically takes a picture of the label, puts it up on a screen, tells you everything that's in the wine, and then it keeps that bottle fresh for up to 90 days. The other thing that's nice about this pool table is it does have a hard cover that turns it into a dining room table. So when we're in circumstances where we don't wanna have a pool table, but we need a large table, it works out perfectly for that. Now we're on to what is obviously my favorite room now in the house, and that is the theater area. Now, there were a couple really challenging things that went along with this room. One, it is open to the pool table side, so it is not an enclosed area that you'd be able to really control sound with. Number two, my wife didn't want to see a single speaker, so I had to do everything with in-walls and in-ceiling speakers, which is not ideal for Atmos, but I think we got a good compromise and it sounds really good in the process. So here is what we actually put in here. First, it is a Sony 325 True 4K projector 
projecting onto a Screen Innovations audio transparent screen that has three clips in wall speakers behind it with eight inch woofers for the right and left and two five and a quarters for the center channel that are firing through the screen like you would get with a real movie theater. It's rounded out with six and a half inch Atmos in ceiling speakers and eight inch rear speakers for the complete setup. The sub setup is an SVS Pro 1000. Hooked up to this is an Apple TV and Xbox Series X, and all of this is hardlined through my fiber connection to the house. One of the things we wanted to make sure of is that all of this area was connected with the rest of the house. So we put in Echo B thermostat to make sure that all three floors had Echo B. Also, we put a brilliant light switch down at the bottom of the stairs. Not only does that allow us to see our ring cameras throughout the house, control the volume of the music and several other smart features, but it also has a camera on it. So as soon as you come down the stairs, the lights turn on automatically for you. It also gives us control to Alexa. So you could do things like this. Alexa, turn on, watch a movie. and all the lights are automatically handled for you. The other thing that we did with this room is made sure the Onkyo receiver was AirPlay compatible and that Sonos could hook up to everything as well. So we have Sonos speakers over there. We have the Onkyo receiver here, which makes it so I can play with AirPlay the same music on every single floor of my house all synced together if I need to. I also put in a 65 inch TV next to the pool table and a 48 inch over there next to the bar. So that if you're standing anywhere in this downstairs space, you should be able to at least see a football game or for watching F1 in the morning. And lastly, all the posters we have on the wall, they're actually original. My wife's father used to collect vintage racing stuff and these posters were actually never even opened. All of the magazines are actually reprint scans of the actual physical copies that we have here in the house. And all of that was done at a local frame shop and we think it came out really well. As the final touch, a little cuisine art popcorn maker, and we're good to go. So guys, that's our new smart basement setup. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said before, if you want to see any individual reviews of anything that I showed you down here in the basement, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get those done. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Consider subscribing to Rob Sutton for more videos like this in the future. And until then, on to the next one. Thanks guys, see ya.